Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to talk about the new Samsung Game Booster inside the One Year 8.5. Because believe it or not, yes, Samsung upgraded the Game Booster. I posted some videos about the One Year 8.5. I'm, by the way, using the official better too, and it ain't that bad. So if you want to get a sneak preview of everything that right now you can do, uh, with uh, the one year 8.5 then you want to welcome to check the previous videos but now the topic is the game booster so i'm going to show you some of the new things that i believe are worth mentioning as you can see we have a new control panel like everything here is pretty much new and when i click this little magic button here i'm going to do a screenshot okay which is not so exciting but when i click this one above i'm to finally gonna get a new redesigned system monitor with my fps the cpu location the gpu and also the ram and if i click this button i'm going to expand the new redesigned menu from game booster where i can again see the cpu the fps that's the game i'm playing my ram the gpu and here i have the three modes so the performance mode apparently you can see it changes the animation to the balance again changes the animations and then to the battery saver if you don't have enough juice battery saver again comes with this nice green mode and the balance one is kind of blue and performance is just going crazy with that purple but there's some other new exciting things so what i can do from here guys if i click on the system monitor and i go back this is going to be the system monitor if I don't want to see this thing, this is the floating menu. If I go back on the screen, now I'm getting a clean preview of my system monitor. And if I want to go back inside the game booster, I need to click this thing here. Like this thing is there. So honestly, if you want to get a floating menu, you know, to just keep you in mind where this thing is, then you can click here. But there are more things. And this is also what I want to show in the video. So block Bixby, when you click block Bixby, Bixby is dead, it's just gone. You can also block the auto brightness if you want to get like a consistent brightness experience. And then you can also block the edge panel. So it seems that there are a lot of things that you can block. The screenshot is, yeah, it's apparently a screenshot. It's also what you can do from this button here. Um, but then let me show some other things. If I go to the game mode, it's going to tell me set up game mode in most in routines to get started, which is something cool. I'm going to click here. What I like about this is that it's going to launch the gaming routines in a pop-up window. But of course, I can just go and make it bigger. So this thing here seems to be brand new. We have a basic game mode, which will block the auto brightness during games. It will block the edge panel during games and it will block Bixby during games. So this is a routine. So instead of you going there in the game booster and manually blocking these things, you can just click basic routine and boom, there you have it. But then there is another one called minimize distractions and it's going to turn down disturb on, which is really, really handy. It's going to turn on automatically. The game is being played. It's going to block the auto brightness. It's going to again block the Bixby and the edge panel, which is also what you get from the basic. And of course there is the custom one which you can get started and you can decide what you want to do. You can basically create your own routine, like maybe you want to get into the do not disturb or you want to block all the brightness or whatever, you know, comes to your mind, like turn on automatically. You can click here and just do some things like when, let's say I start this game, I want to add this condition. So let's say I want to start a game hex and then I want to do all of this, right? Like it, it, it's, yeah, the options really are so 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 much and yeah it's just normal because samsung you know like they are really really handy with things like this what i don't like about this is that once you do select your routine and then you click the game mode it's going to only activate the game mode and if you don't go back and check all the options you need to manually go inside modes and routines uh which is available here and just scroll down and it's gonna be this game mode so right now you can see i didn't really do anything right uh, apparently just turning it on and off so this button here will actually just turn on and off the routine and if i go back now we can see it's going to get turned on or if i go back here and click it it's going to be turned on and of course this is just what this thing does but there are plenty of other things the touch booster hopefully this will help uh, improve the touch controls uh, apparently you have also the record option which will trigger the new one year 8.5 record where you can do a full screen recording but also a partial screen recording which i believe it's also very very handy and again it's something that uh, did not exist down below we have all the icons and from here you can access the game booster settings so we have gaming motion smoothness 120 hertz this is smoother animation that's the refresh rate then you have also the uh, post usb pd charging when gaming if you have a charger that supports pd you can connect your phone to the charger and you can pause the charging so 
so that the phone is gonna draw the current directly from the grid and it's not gonna pump your battery to limit or avoid overheating. In-game panel where to access the in-game panel could be short uh, cut bar or notifications. The best thing for me is the shortcut bar. The touch protection is clear. Screenshot resolution, you can get three options. Then we have notification, all right, standard stuff. And then we have about game booster. And I do believe this is pretty, pretty much it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. For me, probably the best thing here is this redesign system monitor that is kind of aligned with the whole one year 8.5 design or visual language. And it kind of looks cool. And by the way, it really works. I can show you, I can try to play the game and you can see you know, I'm gonna get steady FPS and apparently the CPU location, the GPU location, and of course the RAM. All right, this is it. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, VST over and bye.